the technology enabled approach i think we we also already touched on that but but just going back to that concept if we really want to be bold if we really want to do hr in a different way if we want to approach it differently if our ambition is to maybe no longer be called hr but chief happiness officers or chief engagement officers or top data scientists that means that we will have to come closer to technology and that we will have to really understand how we can use technology and how we can use the data out of technology to drive the decisions that need to be taken with regards to all those different classical aspects of HR, you know, around talent management, around succession planning, around talent attraction that we already spoke about, engagement, all these things. So these modern AHC, HCM concepts are absolutely key. The fact that you probably have something that is available on a desktop is already good, you know, but having it also on your mobile, making it user friendly and accessible for everyone is going to make a difference. You know, most of, as I said, most of the classical offer is comprising all the things that you need to do. But this really sexy tool that your employees are going to talk about, are going to tweet about and say, hey, in my company, we have now this employee engagement thing that is over the mobile and we can give feedback immediately, or this is the kind of service they're offering, or here's what I can do. You know, giving them the opportunity to express that, I think that will certainly make um, a big difference. And then why not think about how we can connect, you know, I mean, this is an, a, a picture of, a, of the Google Glasses, you know, of course, I'm not so sure you want to carry your employee data on Google Glasses, you know, maybe not exactly uh, the same thing. But the idea is really to have it accessible and have it close to you so that when you need it, when you're in a business discussion and you hear something that is related to people, because guess what? It's the people who make the companies who make a difference, right? Um, you can really immediately think about, oh, I have data about that and I can help you understand how that goes. So this one here is about flight risk. You know, we spoke about that earlier. Could there be a correlation between commuting time of your people? If someone is taking over an hour to come to the office, if you have the salary data benchmark that shows that he or she is just paid at the lower range of the, of, of the, um, of the benchmark. If you have an indication about how was the performance discussion last year, what was the training activity that that person attended? And you can connect all that dots to get a better understanding of, ooh, I'd rather watch out because here I have someone who potentially is really at risk because I've maybe not invested enough and I can help the manager, the leader better understand how he should focus and how he should invest his time on the people that he has in his, um, in his team. So that's really about how the technology can, um, can help us from, 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 from that aspect and how we have to think more bolder about that. Um, another chart is, um, is also showing us. I'm coming to the end of, um, of my presentation. And so maybe to conclude, what I would like to share with you is that if there is three things that you should walk away um, today from, is I think that it's this idea that the mobility and interconnection has become just a reality, not only of the work, but the life, the, the, the environment we're living in. So ignoring it or thinking that we will go without it is not a solution because it's, it's not going to happen like that. The flexibility as well that we need to be able to provide to our associates and employees with regards to how they do their work, where they do their work. And I know that in some countries we have some labor laws that are pretty restrictive and we cannot do necessarily what we want to do. The UK is a place where you have nice freedom. So um, thrive on it, explore it, you know, um, make sure that, that you get there. And then lastly, being sure that we understand also that technology is an enabler. Technology is not going to replace the people who think about how we're going to use it. It's not going to replace the fact that you will be the ones showing up in the office of the CEO or of the CFO or of the leader of a, of a, of a team, you know, telling them about what they want to know and what they're interested to know about their workforce. Technology can help you do that. And 
I believe that it's the leaders who have understood that there is an investment that is needed in technology and mainly in HR technology in this case, because this is what I'm talking about, you know, um, is going to make a difference that will be capable of not only attracting the best people, but also retaining them in the organization and not retaining them for the wrong reasons, but retaining them for the right reasons. Because those people feel like this is the place I want to work. This is the place where I want to go the extra mile. And I'm happy to recommend it to my friends and to my cousins and to whoever is interested and has similar expectations and experiences to it. So I hope this was interesting and that you can take away a few ideas of that. As I said earlier, we have an ADP stand at the very um, entrance of this exhibit where you have a great um, illustration of how the IHCM technology is combining all these different aspects that we were, that we were talking about. It's the stand uh, H100. And uh, of course, I'm also at your disposal if you should have any questions. Thank you very much.